The icing oh. does. Okay. No. <laughs> the icing oh. does. Okay. <laughs> Fluky food. Previously on Fluky Food, we made Miracle Whip muffins together. So today we're going to do something equally weird. We are going to make some cupcakes with tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup to be exact. And we are going to be using Campbell's own recipe. So hopefully this is going to be good. I'm not sure though. So let's go along on this weird journey together. First of all, before we start anything, let's get our oven heating up to 350. We are going to start with our butter. So this is a half cup of butter. Softened, of course. And then we're going to mix and cream together the butter and the sugar. So this is one and one third cup of sugar. All right, let us start creaming. As always, when you're creaming, make sure you scrape everything down off the sides and the bottom. The butter and the sugar need to mix together really well. It's gonna take a while, so be patient. Ten hours later, and our sugar and our butter is finally creamed a little bit together. And now we have got two eggs. We're gonna put one at a time and mix each one until it's mixed well in our batter. Just adding one egg instantly makes our batter just so much more creamy and well mixed together. So we're gonna put the last egg. Perfect. And mix this one as well. Okay, our batter is looking so much more fluffy and nice. It looks beautiful. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of our milk. Here I've got measured half a cup, but we're gonna use the next quarter for our frosting. Finally, the secret ingredient. We've added our milk, we're gonna add our soup. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who in the world thought to use tomato soup? Like, are you kidding me? I guess it's not really that big a reach. Tomatoes are fruits and they're sweet. And with the rest of the ingredients, which are a lot of spices, like all spice and cloves, it does sort of make sense, but... I guess these are the same people that were making jello salads. Right, so we're gonna mix everything until it is well mixed and everything is all combined. And just like everything else, make sure you scrape the sides and the bottom of your bowl to make sure that everything is mixed well together because the butter and the sugar could potentially just be stuck down there and you'll have big clumps of that. So, all right, we're gonna mix just one more time and then we'll start adding in our dry ingredients. All right, so everything is mixed, combined, well, let's start with our dry ingredients. In here, we have our baking powder, we've got cloves, we've got cinnamon, we've got allspice. It smells really good. So we're gonna add all of this. And we've also got two cups of flour. So we're dumping it all in here. And you could start just scraping things down. Let's mix everything up. And of course, I don't know why, but I'm always wearing black when I bake. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna scrape one last time. One last mix and we are done with the batter. Well, there it is. It is very thick. And looks like cream of something soup. Chris and I are gonna try this batter. Let's see how it tastes. He <laughs> barely took any. <laughs> it tastes like tomato soup. No, it tastes like pumpkin. Oh. 
It doesn't taste like tomato to me. It does have the same flavors as pumpkin pie, so I'm not surprised at all that it doesn't taste like soup. Okay, so now we've got our muffin tins. I've got 16 muffins and a little loaf pan. I'm gonna see how it does in both of them. I wanna see what bakes better. So for the muffin tins, I'm just gonna line them with plain old white muffin liners. So technically, this could be considered a muffin. <laughs> muffin. If you're not gonna put the frosting on it, but we are going to make the frosting today and we're gonna turn it into a cupcake. We're gonna get our scoop. Okay, we're just gonna start scooping. I'm gonna put about two scoops of this little mini cookie scoop. So this recipe does say it can make 24 cupcakes. This looks like a really nice batter actually. It sort of seems like perfect. Really fluffy and beautiful. I'm quite impressed. I'm not sure if that has something to do with the tomatoes. It might just actually make this bake into a really moist cake. You do want to make sure every muffin has the same amount of batter so it bakes evenly. <sighs> this is not going to be enough batter for a loaf, but whatever. We are now ready to put everything in the oven. It's going to take about 20 minutes, so we'll set our timer for 20 minutes and we'll check one of the muffins to make sure that it is done. So it's nice and clear. We are ready. I've just moved the muffins from the muffin tin onto our cooling rack because we have to let them completely cool, like 100% before we can ice them or else you'll have a huge icing mess on your hands. So while they are cooling though, we're going to start on our icing. To make our icing, we're going to use one block of cream cheese and this should be at least a little bit softened. I'm just gonna cut it up into cubes so that it actually mixes properly with the rest of the ingredients. The other quarter cup of milk that we left. And approximately one teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, we're gonna start mixing these ingredients together. Just keep mixing it until it's all combined and there's no more big chunks of cream cheese. So as you can see, it is nice and fluffy. This recipe calls for about 16 ounces or a whole package of icing sugar, but really all I'm gonna do is just use the icing sugar I have. We're going to continue to add icing sugar until we reach the consistency we want. So you don't want it to be insanely thick, but you don't want it to be too runny or else it'll just get everywhere. So we'll just start adding about a quarter cup or so at a time. So we'll add maybe a half cup to start and we'll go from there. I, I just think a whole package of icing sugar is too much, but I don't know. They're the experts. See right now it is too runny, so we're gonna add a bit more. That icing is way thicker now. So it did in fact take about three and a half cups, just like they said they would. So no big deal. Uh, but now we've got a ton of icing, which is really good. Let's see if our muffins are cool enough. Okay, our cupcakes are now finally cool enough to ice. So we're just gonna grab, I'm just gonna grab a spoon. I'm not gonna do the fancy piping bag or anything. 
Not every single cupcake has to be fancy. I'm just gonna scoop off a little bit of icing and let it just sit there. Nice and cute and simple. I find that with cream cheese frosting or cream cheese icing, it tends to be a little more runny. So I'd rather just scoop a bit onto the cupcake and forget about it. Baking doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna leave about six of them without icing because I sort of want to try them and see how they are. The last step, I've zested a whole orange. I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of zest. It's a nice little pop of color and it gives it that nice little orangey flavor. Don't have to put a lot, just a little sprinkle on each one. All right, we are ready. Okay, and we've got a special guest today. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna make Chris try these muffins. Okay, I'm sorry. No. I, I don't know what to call them. I'm like muffins, cupcakes. cupcakes. I'm calling them tomato cupcakes. They've got frosting on them, so they are technically cupcakes now. All right, Chris is going to be forced to try this cupcake first. Meh. You like orange? Yeah, I picked the one with the most orange on it. <laughs> so. Just trying to drown out the tomato. Look how delicate you're being. I'm very dainty <laughs> with dainties. Okay. How is it? Oh, the frosting's amazing. Okay, here we go. Mm. 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 It's like eating a really good carrot cake. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, that mm. icing is amazing. Amazing. Oh, that icing is really good. Oh, wow. The icing totally kills it. It's awesome. You don't know there's tomato in it. You can't tell. No. It's like when we made the Miracle Whip muffins, which you can see there. You couldn't taste the Miracle Whip. It's like it gets baked right out or combined or whatever. Yeah. And you don't taste the Miracle Whip. Here, you don't taste the tomato. That icing. Holy man. And then that nice little orange zest on top. Mm. You know what the tomato does do that's awesome? Is make it so moist and fluffy. Like it is. This honestly is quite a beautiful looking cake on its own. And Chris is totally right. You don't taste the tomato at all. You don't taste it without. Okay. Yeah, look how nice that looks. Yeah, like it's perfect. I really think that is because of the tomato. Mm. And it's so nice and soft. You can't taste tomato soup at all. No, no. But I think it really, the one of the biggest benefits is that it's so moist. But. Really? Yeah, really good. Uh, honestly, it, it totally makes me feel like it's fall because of all those spices. Mm -hmm. The cinnamon and the allspice and the cloves, do they do such a great job mm. in this. Um, wow. Honestly, I totally feel like I really want to make this again. I'm sure I will in the fall. And I love fall. I never expected this to be even close to this good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me neither. This I is it was really, be really a... good. I, I, if this was going to be passable, I was going to be fine with it. But this is unbelievable. Like, this yeah. is a really, really good by the, any standard. The icing ah. does... Okay. No. <laughs> the icing oh. does... Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave. Let, let's leave Krista and enjoy this. Um. <laughs> the icing does a really good job mm. as well. Um. That cream cheese. How could you go wrong with cream cheese frosting? Though? That might be the best icing I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Wow. And Great job. No big deal. <laughs> mm. Anyways, thanks for joining us. If you try this recipe, let us know how it turns out. Share any tips and tricks you may have, anything you liked, anything you hated. But yeah, let us know. It'll be fun though. You'll be sitting there staring at the person. And they'll be trying it. You'll be like, <laughs> and you're sitting there giggling at them, and they'll be like. Was there soap in here? Like, what's yeah. going on? But uh, You'll have a little secret ingredient. Yeah, and then you can bust out the big reveal at the end. But these are amazing. Yeah. I'm blown away. Really good. Wow. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye.